Hi. In this video, we're going to be making a t-shirt. And we're going to be using the wireframe method. This is a great method because it draws some very distinct parallels between what we're doing in Gravity Sketch and Illustrator. As you see here, we're drawing lines using almost the pen tool in Illustrator by dropping and dragging vector points. And here in edit mode, we are clicking and dragging vector points to make the collar the way that we want it to be drawn. So we're going to be spending a little bit of time in the wireframe mode, just drawing basic lines such as the shoulder, the armhole. And pretty soon we're going to be drawing the bottom hem and the sleeve hem. So the cool thing about this is you're laying down the lines exactly as you would be doing in 2D around, except you're doing this around a 3D mannequin. Drawing the side seams that you see here, you're actually really also establishing kind of like the fit that you do want in 3D. So in this case, um, this looks like this is a fitted fit, as you can see, around the, uh, the waistline. You can see there's a little bit of curve around the waistline. So this is a fitted fit. Super important to put in the hemlines because this is going to help establish and create some solid points to create the volume that you want for your garment. Let's draw this sleeve hem. We're minimizing the anchor points just to keep the file as small as possible. And just kind of pulling. Notice that the design lines are static. So I'm not drawing any um, wrinkles or folds at this moment right now. So there's a very cool reason for this. And um, what that is going to do is create a uh, drawing that will be really easily decipherable um, when you UV and wrap this to make a reference pattern shape to make tangible garments out of. So we're going to we're going to cover that in a later video. So in this video, we are again drawing a basic t-shirt, side seams, underarm seams, set in sleeve, fitted fit. There you go. We're pretty much done with the line drawing here. So let's start filling it in. So like I said, we're not drawing this with any folds or wrinkles or anything at this moment. We're going to create a static surface for this. And as if we were drawing or draping on an actual mannequin uh, grain lines, just straight warp and weft. We're doing the same thing in uh, digital form. So imagine the this is actually fabric. And later on, you will see the topology straight up and down and um, horizontal with the ground as if we were just draping material around a dummy in um, real life. The other thing that you notice is the mannequin is lowered in opacity so you can see through it. So that really does help to kind of see the relationship between the front and the back of the mannequin in real time. And what we're doing here is dragging and pulling 
the edges that snap together to the control points. And we're also doing this in mirror mode, as you see here. So again, we're drawing one side and the other side is duplicated instantly. So we're already seeing instantly the design coming to life. And that's automatically going to be helping us see if the design is working or not, or the, if the ergonomics is correct or not. Let's finish the front panel and um, we'll show you the sleeve. There you go. All right, cool. So same thing, the sleeve grain is going to be center grain of the sleeve. We're going to kind of curve the, uh, the surface tool here and we're going to go straight down the sleeve as if you would be doing a, um, the center grain on a pattern. There we go. And then we're going to be using our trigger finger to pull out the edges to start wrapping around the, um, the arm. There you go, just kind of pulling it away. And notice that those shaded areas, when you start pulling on those control handles, they start disappearing. So what that is, is actually the mannequin showing through or peeking through um, the surface. So that kind of tells you, gives you kind of a gauge on what kind of fit you're going after. Is it too close to the body or not? And if it is, just pull it gently until those um, funny little shaded areas of the surface um, disappear. There you go. We're pulling those edges over a little bit. And you see here that it's going, going pretty good. What we're also doing is surfacing to the, um, the wireframe, not surfacing to the other surface. So we're not touching, we're not connecting the sleeve to the body or anything. And again, we're all doing this in prep um, for UV and wrapping in a later video. So again, with the wireframe, drawing the hems really help establish the volume that you want or the fit that you want um, around the body. There you go. Start kind of moving that in there. There's a reason why we're not using snap to object as well in this. And we can cover that um, also in another, another chat. There you go. Put that there. Cool. We're going to fast forward a little bit in just a moment. There you go. And let's get this back done. Okay, there you go. Again, the, um, the opacity does help a lot. So you can really see the relationship between the front and the back um, quite clearly. Let's get those sides all zipped up. Make sure those control points are connected to each other, sealing up the surfacing. Fast forward to getting that collar done. We're using the parallel line mode. Sweet. Let's lock those together with the mirror mode. There you go. Make sure those are touching. And there, there's your static T. See you in the next video.